Hi, I'm Dr. Matt Larson, one of the owners and founders of Yellowstone Family Dental. We are a all under one roof implant provider. We offer multiple implant solutions for different needs and different patients. And in our facility, we've placed over 2,000 implants. So we have a lot of experience working with implants and, and implant patients. There are many different types of implants on the market right now, and they can all be used in different ways to help patients that have missing, cracked, broken, or painful teeth. So if you are one of these people, you've probably had the thought, are dental implants a good solution for me? One of the first things that people ask when wanting to know about implants is how much do implants cost? And this could be a very difficult question for dentists and for patients. And to explain that, let me use an analogy. Let's say you went to a car dealer and you walked on the lot and a car salesman came out and, and met you. And the first thing you said to the car salesman was, how much does a car cost? Well, you can imagine he's not gonna be able to have a great answer for you right away. The car salesman is gonna come back and say, well, you know, that depends. What are you looking for? Are you looking for a car to drive from your house to work? Are you looking for a car that gets great gas mileage? Is that a, a big concern that you have? Or are you looking for a, a luxury car with all the, the comforts and the heated massage seats? It may be none of those. Maybe you're, you're looking for a big gas guzzling truck that can pull your horse trailer or pull your boat. As you can see, all of these are very different needs and all of these cars are gonna have very different costs. Well, believe it or not, dental implants are very similar. Dental implant placement will vary by the type of implant, the situation that it's being placed into, the intended use for it, warranties available, and even the skill level or specialty of the clinician that's placing the implant. So there's a, there's a lot of degrees for just the implant. Then you have to consider what's gonna go on top of the implant. There's many different types of restorations that are put on top so that, it's a, so that you can have a tooth. It may be just an individual crown. It may be a bridge that needs to go on it. It may be a denture that's gonna snap onto that tooth. And the materials of all those, we have porcelain, zirconia, we have metal, we have composites and plastics. There's The list goes on and on of, of the different types of materials. So as you can see, it's almost impossible to give somebody an, an accurate estimate of the cost of an implant without knowing first what the end goal is. If I was to give you a range of implant prices in our practice, it's probably from about $2,000 to about $60,000. I know, I know what you're thinking, $60,000, that's expensive. Let me explain. A recent patient of mine said the two words that he finds the most unpleasant when talking about money are expensive and cheap. Expensive meaning that something is beyond your ability, that you'll never have it, that it's unobtainable. And cheap meaning that it's, well, cheap. And that means, you know, of little value or poorly made. And so he said that a a word that he liked instead of cheap and expensive is affordable. Affordable means that even though it may cost more than something cheap, it's still possible to have. Affordable is a word that creates hope and value. Let me give you another example. It wasn't long ago before people would never think of spending $500 on a cell phone. And yet now we see people walking around all the time with $500 cell phones and $1,000 cell phones. In fact, I was recently at the Grand Canyon, there was a whole family there, and they all had $1,000 cell phones, every one of them. And I thought, how could that be? Well, in that family situation, they valued the ability to have constant communication and constant access to information on the internet enough that they were willing to pay the expense of the smartphones. I think the second reason that we see this is that now we're able to pay for things over time. And when we pay for things over time, it makes them much more affordable. It wasn't long ago that about the only thing you could pay for over time was your house or your car. 
But now people set up payment plans for all sorts of things, for jewelry, for appliances, for furniture, and the list goes on and on. We can get almost anything we need to now by paying for it over time, which makes it more affordable to us. I know some of you are saying, I don't wanna go in debt for dental work. I don't wanna have to pay over time. I don't like having credit cards. I don't like having any debt. I want to just save up and, and pay for something that I need. Now, that's great. And I think that's a, that's a great way to live. The one thing I would caution is to not put off dental treatment that needs to be done. Dental treatment that's put off tends to become more expensive, more difficult, and typically more painful for the patient if it's not done in a timely manner. So don't put off dental treatment and allow a problem to get worse and maybe complicate a treatment plan because you don't have the money right now to be able to take care of it. So as you can see, it's almost impossible for us to just give somebody a, a quote over the phone of what the cost of an implant is gonna be. The only way to really give an accurate cost of an implant is to have somebody come in, to be able to sit down, to be able to have a 3D CT scan of their mouth, to see what their bone looks like, what their teeth look like, and then be able to come up with a, an end goal and a plan. At that point, then we can say, okay, this is the cost of, of fixing your problem with an implant. Now, another common question that we get is, will my insurance or Medicaid or Medicare help with my implant? So this is also kind of a complex question and whether your insurance is gonna help with your implant is completely determined by the limitations that your individual plan has with your insurance company. This can be difficult sometimes to understand and to, and to figure out. But fortunately for you, we have a insurance wizard that we hire full time and that's all she does is deal with insurance. And she can help to navigate and answer those questions based on your individual insurance and your individual plan. Now, when we talk about um, government type of like Medicaid plans, Medicaid unfortunately doesn't set aside funding to cover implant procedures. Now, this is unfortunate and it may be something that hopefully they'll be able to see the, the benefit to people's chewing and health and lifestyle and at some point be able to see that value and, and add that as part of their coverage. But at this point, even if you go to a, a Medicaid provider, Medicaid isn't going to provide funding for those services, unfortunately. So to wrap it all up, dental implants are not cheap, but they're not expensive. We do know they have value for people to be able to have dental implants and not have to worry about tooth pain anymore, to be able to chew what they want, to go to a restaurant and not have to worry about picking out a food that they can eat, but knowing that they can eat anything on the menu, for people to be able to laugh and talk and smile without being self-conscious about their teeth and actually being proud to show off their teeth. All of these things together create value. And when there's value, things can become affordable. Now, if you or someone you know is suffering from loose or broken or missing teeth, don't give up hope. You don't have to suffer any longer. To find out even more about dental implants or other options that may be available to you in this ever-changing world of dentistry, I invite you to come into our office. We'll sit down, we'll have a consult, we'll take a 3D CT scan, and we'll give you all of your options. We'll find out what your goals are, and we'll find a plan that can get us there. And then you'll have value and that will make it affordable for you to get the dental treatment that you need. I'm really excited for you to see our state-of-the-art building, our friendly staff, and be able to have a wonderful experience and be able to help you meet all of the goals that you have in dentistry. Thank you for watching. Again, this is Dr. Matt Larson with Yellowstone Family Dental, and I look forward to seeing you soon.